Welcome to another meditation today. Namaste, everyone. My favorite thing about meditation is that you never quite know where you can go. Now, with meditation, my, my yoga teacher said it best, and it's that we're actually not trying to go anywhere. So the act of trying can really only get you in trouble. You're not trying to, to do anything. You're not trying to find any special lights. It's more of a process of letting it be, of letting go. And in that action, that's where you can kind of find, find new places to visit, places to explore within yourself. It's this internal aspect, looking inward, where we discover so much about ourselves. Let's begin today with the OM. First, we'll start with a deep breath in and out. So take a breath in and release the breath. Close your eyes if you'd like and take a breath in for OM. Let's really sit with ourselves today. Whatever is happening in your mind, in your body, in your feelings, in your emotions, don't push them away. Accept them. Feel them for all that they are. We're just trying to get to know ourselves a bit deeper, a bit more intimate. And through this process, we learn about ourselves. And by learning, we can, we can fine tune ourselves. We can make adjustments if needed. This is a mode of discovery. And there's something about discovery, isn't there? This is maybe what we're here to do in life, to discover. So all of us are given a body, a path. And along that path, we have a mind to help us navigate where we're going to carry our light. Many of us grow up and we, we study, we play, and we grow. But there is a time we must decide what it is that we do with this light that we've been given. Some people make excellent chefs. Some use their light to play sports, maybe they dance, maybe they're actresses or actors in great plays. Maybe your light is called to be an engineer, to innovate, 
and to create new solutions that can solve problems for all of humanity. The fact is that all of us have a light. All of us have something that we're called to do. Now the beauty of meditation is that it helps each individual get in tune with this light. Depending on our past, on our experiences, on the way we've been taught and molded, changes our behavior. Some people may find meditation quite, quite easy and natural, while others really struggle to sit still. We're all starting from a different place, but we're all going toward this light. Now all our light comes in a variety of flavors, shapes, sizes, colors, brightness. However you want to classify it, all of us are different even if our light comes from the same place. Now, although I can't tell you which path is best, I can't tell you which way you should steer your ship, I can give you a hint. And that hint is called intuition. Intuition is like a voice without words. Maybe you do hear it. Oftentimes I don't, but I'm aware of it. I'm aware that it knows best. I'm aware of the feelings and the signals it sends me, whether I listen or I don't. And the most beautiful aspect is that our intuition does not give up. Well, I guess I can't say that with certainty. I'm only 31 years old. Have you ever seen someone go through a midlife crisis? I've seen it from the outside looking in, kind of witnessed it. And I always wondered if that was the intuition's final call for change. What if that was the intuition's way to shake someone, to try to wake them up and say, you were, you were here to do something else, something beautiful and true and new to you and your being. We may not know everything about this life and all the, the secrets of nature. But somehow the intuition knows how to guide us. I have lost and I have won. And I have felt my intuition by me the entire time. I can look back at moments when I ignored it and I have watched myself fail. And there have been other times when victory has come. And I look back and although it was me in this body completing or fulfilling some sort of action to bring that fulfillment We always know that the intuition is what gets us there. Let's take a few extra moments and breathe and reflect. And begin to think what it is that our intuition could be telling us today. Maybe we haven't visited it for quite some time. many days when I avoid it altogether and 
push it away. But even if it's hidden, even if it's muted, my intuition is still there. There have been many periods of confusion in my life. Moments when I didn't understand my path or my plan or what the heck I was doing. But it always seems that right when it gets hardest, right when it's the very worst that I can get, and it seems that I can get to be the worst over and over again, week after week, if you trust it, the intuition will be there to save you. It'll pop out exactly when you need it and show you exactly what you're looking for. But you must have trust. It's trust in something internal to you. It's trust in your light. This light is like your power. And everything that we do brings us right back to this light, to this purpose, to this pursuit that we are on. It's not supposed to be perfect. It's not supposed to be painless. It's not supposed to be necessarily painful, but somewhere in the middle of it all, we discover that all these challenges are lessons guiding us to better illuminate this light within us. And the closer we get, the more obvious it becomes. The more distant we get from it, the tougher the lessons can get. It's not supposed to be easy, but it is quite simple. Listen to your intuition and follow your heart. That is your way. Let's come together for one more ohm. We'll take a deep breath in. And release the breath. Take another deep breath in. Thank you for coming to another day of meditation. All of us are appreciative that you're tuning in and willing to listen to the light that's within you, shared by all of us. Because there will come a time when we leave this body and all we'll be left with is our light. And when that time comes, you release all the weight, all the problems of a material world, and realize that we are all light to begin with, all of us. And someday we'll come together and embrace all the energy to realize that we were one to begin with. Namaste. The light in me sees and honors the light in you.